What's going on, guys? This is Dave Holland, a.k.a. Dynasty George. This is the SGPN Fantasy Football Podcast. Our Sports Gaming Podcast Network presented to you by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. Boots the same game parlays, live in-game odds. WinBet has what you need to win. If you bet $100 and get $100 at sportsgamingpodcast.com, that's just WinBet. That's winbet.com or download the WinBet app and start winning today. State restrictions apply. We're also brought to you by the Sports Gaming Podcast Final Four Watch Party. April 1st, 7.30, SGPN will be at the Ice House in Los Angeles. That's p.m. And so come hang out with the crew, watch the game, all the info at sportsgamingpodcast.com. Ice House. All right, so we're doing our draft series. We've done picks one through seven. We're going to be picking from each spot, four rounds, 12 teams, super flex, rookies only, and let's start the draft. Our last draft of the night. And let's see. We got one step. Every draft is the same. <laughs> 101, B. John Robin. Oh, B. John Robinson. Number two, Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Jameer Gibbs, Jackson Smith and Jigba, Anthony Richardson, Jordan Addison. That's your sleeper ADP, guys. That's where yeah. we're at. Everything's 108, the same. 108. Yeah. Well, it's ADP. It's following yeah. ADP. Um, yeah. so right here we got the 108 spot. We got Will Levis on the board. We got Michael Mayer on the board. We got Quentin Johnston on the board. Zach Charbonnet. Those are the top four per position. Brad, are you considering anybody not named Zach on this list? Nope. Not even close. He's he's the guy. 108 is my last spot. If he is, if I'm if I've got a pick at 112, let's say I don't even have a first round pick. If I'm at the 108. If the, the draft's at 108 and Zach Charbonnet's on the board, I'm trading up to get him right there. That That's what I'm trying to do. That's how much I believe in him as a player. Now, obviously, if the NFL doesn't believe in him and he falls in the draft, which I, is not going to happen, then my mind might change a little bit. But I just love the entire skill set this guy's got. So well, he, let's uh, let's see, Brad. Did, if you uh, let's see if Brad read my article. Do you know where I have Zach Charbonnet going in the in, in the draft? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I have him going to the Dallas Cowboys in the second round. Um, okay. He he met with uh, Seattle. He met with uh, the Patriots, and he met with um, Cincinnati and Arizona. Um, when I talked to him at the combine, um, big dude. He is uh, definitely one of the rare bigger running backs. And like you said, he offers a three down skill set. He was able to do um, do a lot of that. He's not going to be Austin Eckler. Let's be clear here. He's not Austin Eckler, not Alvin Kamara. He's not getting out into coverage, no. running routes, and, and separating like he's his name is Christian McCaffrey. But bubble screens, he's 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 someone that you could get out in in the screen game, or or someone that you can use in that way. And he can you know, get you Joe Mixon type production. Not Najee Harris. Um, yep. and Najee Harris kind of a, a, a fair comp for him. Um, maybe, a, maybe a little faster, uh, a little smaller, um, came in at 220 pounds, not 240 pounds, but yep. similar style to a Najee Harris. And if he gets paired up with a noodle arm, you know, retired quarterback, like Ben Roethlisberger, you can see a hundred targets year one. <laughs> Matt Ryan. Uh, ben Roethlisberger. Yeah. Um, so. We got um, B. John Robinson, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, Jameer Gibbs, J.S.N., Anthony Richardson, Jordan Addison, Zach Charbonnet, Will Levis, Quentin Johnston gave me the 111. I'm letting the computer pick for me. Even though I would have taken Zay Flowers there, it takes Michael Mayer. Then you have Kayshawn Boutte, Josh Down, Zach Evans, Devon A. Chain, you have uh, Jalen Hyatt, T- Tank Bigsby, Sean Tucker, Kendra Miller, Somehow Zay Flowers is still on the board. Yeah. <laughs> Sleeper just hates this man. I mean, I'll tell you this. If you need to know a little bit about Zay Flowers, favorite candy, Sour Patch Kids. He is definitely a dog guy. He was all over. There's a dog going around. He was in love with the dog. Um, this guy put on 13 pounds of pure muscle, still ran the 40, ran a 442. Um, they talk about him being a Steve Smith clone and i asked him at the combine who do you model your game after antonio brown and steve smith and and this guy is uh um he's i think he's gonna be a baller um and and he kind of you know kind of does remind me when you look at him 
like your uh, your guy Marquise Brown, but he uh, he definitely is bigger now that he's put on that weight. So other than Zay Flowers, who are you considering here? Yeah, so I'll give you three. One is going to be Cedric Tillman, wide receiver. I like this location for a guy that has some serious touchdown upside for you. I don't think he's got a, a guy that's going to catch 115 balls and give you 1,500 yards, but I think he's a guy who can give you double-digit touchdowns any given year. Uh, I'm looking at Hinton Hooker, the quarterback, and I'm also looking at Ty, or I'm sorry, not Hinton Hooker, Ty J. Uh, actually, yeah, I would be looking at Hinton Hooker here, but Ty J. Spears, the running back out of Tulane, and Dalton Kincaid, the tight end out of Utah, are the four players that I'm looking at here, all kind of based on team need. We took uh, Zach Charbonnet already. I'm probably not going to take, unless I'm just loaded at wide receiver and quarterback and all the other positions, I'm probably not going to take Ty J. Spears here. I'm going to look at the other three positions. Yeah, I, and and knowing the board, we know that there's been some more. You know, at th- round three, we've had some good hits at the receiver and the running back position. I'm gonna I'm gonna say let's go Dalton Kincaid here. I like it. He's like my it. tight end one, and um, you know, I, I do think that he's someone that can be a, a good fantasy producer year one. But I, I see him being someone that year two or year three is a top ten top eight tight end in this league well i mean there's a lot of players there's a lot of people that have him as his tight end one a lot of people have him going ahead of michael mayer and if he goes ahead of michael mayer and you can still get him around later like that's huge value so round two is josh downs zach evans Devin a chain we have jalen hyatt tank bigsby sean tucker kendra miller dalton kincaid zay flowers hen and hooker and then we have my my pick which is the auto pick, um, Cedric Tillman, Ty J. Spears. We have Darnell Washington, Rasheed Rice, Marvin Mims, Max Duggan, Tanner McKee, Rakim Jarrett, Stetson Bennett, and we're back on the clock. So a lot of players we've been talking about previously, Sean Johnson, Izzy Abinaconda, we have Debo McBride, Chase Brown. Um, who are you looking at here? Yeah, this is where it gets interesting, right? This is why you do all these mock drafts and see the different combinations that you can end up with. Because my question here now is you're sitting at the 308 and Luke Musgraves is on the on the board. Would you rather have Zay Flowers, Zach Charbonnet, and Luke Musgrave? Or would you rather have Zach Charbonnet, Dalton Kincaid, and Izzy? Like, what's the combination there? It's very interesting because Luke Musgraves is an extremely athletic tight end, drew a lot of interest. And we've seen tight ends at the NFL be super productive that were not very productive in college. So knowing there's that round difference, just like we talked about Mayer to Kincaid, there's a round difference down to Luke Musgraves. Is it worth now seeing maybe we wait and take Luke Musgrave later on and take somebody a little bit bit differently in the second round? Yeah, and, you know, and and we talked about it in the last podcast where, honestly, like, if I go running back, running back, running back, running back, or running back, Zay Flowers, running back, running back, I do like the idea of you can get a quick return on these running backs. Like, if you were to get Isaiah Pacheco in the fourth round last year or undrafted free agent, you can trade him for a second-round pick now. Um, That stuff doesn't happen with tight ends. It just takes a while, and I'm just not patient enough. Yep. But I, I definitely like the way you put that because Zach Charbonnet, you get Flowers, and then you get Musgrave. <laughs> if Mark Musgrave is the you know, early second-round pick, maybe he goes to the Detroit Lions in the second round um, or you know, one of those one of those spots, be be you know very, very interested in, in, in taking him. So um other guys to consider here are all the guys we've talked about, Eric Gray. Um, Chase Brown, um, but yeah, Musgrave is the other one. I'm not considering any of the other quarterbacks at this point, and um, that's my top tight end that's left on the board. Um, so, so yeah, whatever you want to go, man. I, I went Izzy just because he's there. Like I, again, we talked a little bit about this with these quarterbacks coming off the board. It messes up ADP a little bit, uh, or at least what we think is going to be happening in the third round. So. Yeah, I mean, on average, 10 quarterbacks are drafted per year, and um, there could be 10 drafted this year. But, yeah. you know, taking someone like Max Duggan or Tanner McKee or Stetson Bennett in the third round of your rookie draft is too rich for me. 
And I just don't think people are doing that. Um, so the third round went Darnell Washington, Rasheed Rice, Marvin Mims, Max Duggan, Tanner McKee, Rakim Jarrett, Stetson Bennett, Izzy Ebenaconda, Rashawn Johnson, Dwayne McBride, Eric Gray, Luke Musgrave. And they have Jaron Hall, Tucker Craft, Will Mallory. We have Ford. We have Davis Allen, Braylon Willis, Payne Durham, and we are back on the clock. Yep. And you got your pick of the litter again. We've got Xavier Hutchinson, who we've talked about. We've got Chase Brown, who we've talked about. My boy Parker Washington down there. Some of these guys I'm not really interested in at all, to be honest, right? Deuce Vaughn, I just he's that outlier. He's he's a small guy. Kenny McIntosh, I, you know, J.D. McKissick is his ceiling, I feel like, something like that. Um, uh, Chris Rodriguez is just that bruiser. Had this draft been 15 years ago, maybe he's a little bit higher, right, because that's his style of play. You know, Peyton Hillis, let me run over guys type of deal. Uh, so, really, th- those are my three guys, though. Chase Brown, Xavier Hutchinson, or Parker Washington. Yeah, and like I said earlier, I would take the running back to flip him, but this is Brad's draft. We're going to finish it off right. We're going to go Parker Washington. No, no? I mean Chase Brown. No, nah, it's. I mean, I would take Parker Washington in the fourth. I'd take that shot, but. Well, you're going to get a chance to get him as an undrafted free agent. That's right. Sam Laporta. We haven't been seeing him come off the board. Nope. Laporta is Allen. We haven't until this draft. I haven't seen his name. Laporta should have been considered. I have him as my fifth tight end. I I would have considered him at this point as well. I have him as as my tight end four. Well, I appreciate you guys, you know, hanging out with us again. Check out all the other episodes. We will finish the next four episodes next week. And as as always, uh, good luck this season. Um, But before we do that, let's let's uh, let's check back in with the sponsors. We do what? Well, not necessarily sponsors just yet, but we may have a couple things to offer, right? And that yeah. offer is going to be: let's say you're getting ready for the Final Four, you're hoping your your Michigan State Spartans really move on, and you want to hope that you can watch it with some guys. Well. The Sports Gambling Podcast guys are going to be hosting that Final Four watch party at the historic Ice House in Pasadena, California on Saturday, April 1st at 7.30. If you're interested, go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash icehouse to get all the details. It's also getting close to Masters time. I'm a golfer. i got a couple golf clubs behind me. I keep my swing in play all the time. If you're looking to hang out with our main two guys, Sean and Ryan, at the Stadium Swim and watch the biggest golf tournament in the world, you have that chance to win a three-night stay at the Circa Las Vegas to do that. The contest is completely free. All you have to do to enter is go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash golf party. Again, that's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash golf party. And if you don't win, it's okay. You could still get a discount for the Circa on a room using our promo code SGP15. Now let's get to our sponsors, and that's going to be Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is heating up for March Madness, and the College Pick'em is a great way to get into the action, especially if your bracket is already busted. Plus, Underdog has your favorite college basketball player props. So head over to underdogfantasy.com and use promo code SGPN for 100% deposit bonus of up to $100. Again, that's underdogfantasy.com. Promo code SGPN. All right. Well, as always, good luck this season. Cheers.